Oh, there you are. Today we make a little video clip about the Rolls Royce we had for some time. And here you see that very car on roll duties for Kensington Palace. And um, attached to it now is a letter from Kensington Palace stating the origin of the car. It was actually Princess Margaret's personal Rolls Royce. And yeah, it took a bit of work to get the inside uh, looking beautiful again. The leather over the years suffered a bit and uh, with that uh, leather bomb called Renapore, I got it all working again and it's now looking really spiffy. Yeah, it took a while to get that car to that condition but as you can see the leather seats are absolutely shining. And then the car polishing. When I got the car it looked nothing like this. It was amazing what you can do with it. Getting the rubber black, the chrome shiny as a mirror, and the paintwork as shiny as a mirror. It took a while, but we got there. And we got the original number plates back for the car, 3GXM. Princess Margaret, for all her life, had that very number plate. And the vinyl roof, we restored with vinyl rejuvenator, which we also used as a tire shine. And you see the white rim tires. I was sitting there with a paintbrush, a tiny little paintbrush, and uh, getting the rims uh, white again. And also, the gold outline on the side of the car um, I got redone from a lady that does this sort of artwork on trucks. But she liked to do it on a Rolls Royce too. And we got a red carpet for the car as well. Unfortunately, I could never get a piece of carpet the same color than the car. And here you see an old DC3 and my chauffeur's head and the driving gloves. And uh, now we see a few champagne outings. And um, it was fun driving the car. And we also did some sightseeing tours and mainly weddings. Weddings was the main purpose for the car and we did plenty of them. So I believe I'm in quite a few wedding pictures for quite some couple and uh, my little special treat was a table and finger food and drinks at the rear of the Rolls Royce and we have done plenty of photo shoots with the car and here you see the car for a catalog photo shoot and um, here you see me cleaning the car it was quite a bit of work that is a big car and um, yeah, cleaning it, washing it was one thing, but then the real work started. First, the polish, that took about an hour and a half to apply the polish. Then polishing the car, which at least was another two hours. And when all that was done, then putting the showroom glaze on it. And then the tire shine and the vinyl roof and the rubber bumper and everything had to be done well. But the car looked spiffy. It was absolutely unreal. And it was a stunner. But unfortunately, at the end, we had to get rid of the car because it became a drama queen. There were more repairs than you can poke a stick at, so we had to let go of it. And it became unreliable. That was the worst part of it. You, you, when you did a wedding with it, you could never be sure you finished the wedding in the car. And, I can't handle this sort of stress. I don't need that. Okay, but it was fun to drive, except um, every second petrol station you had to fill up. That car was sucking up petrol like there is no tomorrow. I always made the joke, the fastest moving thing in the rolls is the petrol gauge. But it was fun. It was a great car to drive and it was so smooth and ah, oh, it was great. They don't make cars like that anymore, that's for sure. Okay, have fun with that. See you later.